Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, we're going to talk about the PwC raises. We got a request to talk about this, probably because the numbers are really high, but also because PwC, in my view, pays the best. And I mean, this is pretty hard to determine on a, on a global scale. On a local scale, like UK, you can see that the partners at Deloitte make the most, but that's more of a regional thing, and it really depends on a lot of factors as far as partner compensation goes, because Deloitte makes more money globally, but PwC has less employees and they make more revenue. And just based on my experience and other people's experience, I think PwC on average pays better. But there's news that PwC has paid out enormous raises from anywhere from like 20% to 40%. And I think that's true for the, the average person, like from associate up to manager. But I think beyond that, it's probably high double digits. And PwC is really making up for the, the prior year where the raises weren't the best. And, you know, they're trying to get rid of people that weren't high performers. And so there's a lot to be learned here. I think PwC was losing people. I think all the big four accounting firms are losing people. When you have a year of single digit raises, then I think you lose a lot of people. Plus on top of that, you have inflation, inflation of everything. Even McDonald's had to raise the amount they pay people and they had to pay people bonuses just to interview with them. So when you have the basics like fast food, having to pay insane amounts just to get people to interview that's going to work its way up the chain it's working its way through the government institutions paying tons of money for for everything all the governments around the world are gaining more power uh governments around the world have just agreed to a minimum tax and i think a lot of that is just capitulation to the size of the u.s and other large economies just dishing out tons of cash and these smaller countries don't want to miss out on any subsidies from the u.s and these larger countries so they capitulate and i go on that i say all that because it's i think inflation's hitting everywhere and it's hitting pwc too but i think the big four accounting firms have to be careful and i think everybody should be careful with these raises because what these raises do it just sort of equalizes people's salary year over year they should have gotten a certain raise in a prior year and now they're going to be getting that raise and also there's people that miss promotion raises because pwc promotion raises are typically pretty high and that's like when i was saying those 25 to 40 percent raises that that upper 40 percent range is for people that got promoted so you can't you, you shouldn't typically expect that in the big four accounting firms but this is good news for people uh this is I think it shows also that PwC cares a little bit more about their employees than the other big four accounting firms in, in my perspective. Uh, this is really good, but also people should get ready for the flip side. The big four accounting firms weren't prepared for a downturn in the economy, and that's why they cut people right away, cut the salaries, cut their bonuses, and then now they're overcorrecting because they think the economy's fully recovered and they see the forecast is booming and they even put out publications that show that it's booming. But if if COVID-19 or whatever variant is coming around the corner, it's again in the winter, then we're just going to, there's no reason to think that the big four accounting firms won't start firing people and cutting salary again. So I think the thing to learn here is that, is that PwC is, is paying people really well for the time being. The big four accounting firms are seeing a lot of business from the largest businesses in the world doing really well during COVID and the largest governments in the world doing well during COVID. 
And there's no reason that, that shouldn't continue as long as something unexpected doesn't happen. But inflation can affect a lot of different things. And it can affect expenses. It can affect the economy. If energy keeps going up, then a lot of bubbles are going to burst. So there's a lot of different things that the big four accounting firms have to keep their eye on and help people that get these huge raises uh, put some of that money away because you never know when the, the other shoe is going to drop. And I think it's also people need to plan out their their careers. And, and I've spoken about this a lot that in the years where there is a downturn, I think uh, you, you don't have to try as hard. I mean, as long as it's before it happens, like in a weird part of the performance year. But in a performance year where the economy's on an upswing, that's where you really want to hit your stride because that's when you can hit these huge promotions, put those in the bank. And then, you know, these, these huge prom- raise years aren't going to happen every year. Uh, the big, big four and PwC are doing this for a reason. They're doing this to keep employees and to get the people they need to win the contracts that are on the market. They're not doing this because they, they love their employees. If it's an average year, they're going to pay you whatever the market bears. And right now the market's bearing a lot because like I said, inflation is high and, and there's a lot of people willing to pay a lot for high skilled workers, but that's not going to be the case every year. So in the years where it's not the case, then you can focus. You shouldn't try as hard as what I'm trying to say. And the reason I'm trying to tell people not to try as hard is because your career is going to last a long time, most likely longer than 30 years. You don't want to burn out in the beginning because we're trying to get to partnership or an executive position or a high paying position. If you burn yourself out, then you're not going to last and you're going to be sitting there blaming the big four, blaming the system. And as long as you time things right, you can get to a higher compensation level faster. It might not be super fast, but it'll be fast enough and you're going to be efficient and you're not going to be burnt out. So that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to get future updates. You can also support us financially through the Buy Me A Coffee link in the show notes to this podcast. And also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Big Four Accounting Firms. Thanks for listening.